hello guys um welcome back to pkc so today i'll be talking about microplastics when we look at the basics of this topic these objects are very small and hard to see by the naked eye at a distance these are the same size as an apple seed or an orange seed microplastics end up in seas harming our environment some studies show that microplastics with a particular behavior can move across cells in the human body the size, shape, and color of these microplastics can vary. And I don't know if you will know, believe this, but in a lifetime, 20 kg of microplastics, which are harmful to our body, are consumed. But how do these little things reach our mouth anyway? Let's take an example. Plastics are thrown into the ocean. A fish swims by and sees these little things floating about. It thinks it's food and swallows it. The plastic harms its body and it slowly dies. The meanwhile, some fishermen come and catch the fish. It's sold and eaten. Thus, microplastics enter our body when we eat the fish. Ingested microplastics can harm and damage our internal organs. Every year, about 5 to 14 million microplastics get washed away into the seas and harm marine life. But how do plastics become microplastics? Plastics, whether in the sea or on land, is broken down by several, like sunlight, wind, waves, or heat. So that's all we have for today about microplastics. I hope you understood about this topic and please raise the awareness and um, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and click the bell button if you want to get more notifications from PKC.